a child, but is anything too hard for the Lord? She laughs. The Lord said, you're going to have a child. She laughs. I'm an old lady. I'm past my childbearing years. My cycle is over decades ago. And God says, you're going to have a child. She what? Laughs. Why? Because in the natural realm, it was impossible. People, God wants you to start believing again for the supernatural. God wants you to realize whatever you're thinking. You say, well, God showed me this stuff, but I just didn't believe it. I put it down. Why are you doing that? Start believing the dreams that God has told. That what brings vitality and life to your life. Well, I just go in, I clock in and clock out, and that's my life, and life sucks, and I just want to die. You really think that's what God has for you? God's got something so powerful, so mighty, but it starts brewing on the inside of your spirit, man. And the way it begins to manifest in the natural is by you believing what God told you here. And then you're waking up on Monday morning, Tuesday morning, Wednesday morning, and what are you doing? You're prophesying what you saw. I saw it, and the devil's laughing at you. And my God, God forbid you tell somebody about it, because then they look at you and look at the present circumstances and go, my God. Don't you see the army around you? There ain't nothing in that. It ain't going to be. A prophet is never accepted in his own hometown. Among his own family members, he won't be accepted. That's why sometimes you just sit there and reserve who you share it with. But then you open up your mouth and say, I know there's a myriad of angels that heard it come out of the master's mouth, and they're applauding me on. And they're saying, keep going, preacher. Keep believing, child of God. What's about to happen is on the inside of you. And in the eyes of God, he's already declared it. It is finished. Come on, somebody give the Lord a clap. Woo! 